Big Movie Mouth Off, sponsored by Grey Whale Entertainment. We're here at Groovy Cinema Pub to review more movies. I'm Jeff Weiss from X96's Radio from Hell. And I'm Jimmy Martin with Slug Magazine. Uh, our next movie is Wall Street, Money Never Sleeps, Oliver Stone's sequel to his beloved Wall Street, uh, with Michael Douglas reprising his role as insider trader Gordon Gecko, who's been released from prison and is now involved sort of as a mentor to a character played by Shia LaBeouf who is engaged to Gordon Gecko's daughter. Someone reminded me I once said, greed is good. Now it seems it's legal. Because everybody's drinking the same Kool-Aid. Now I've been considered a pretty smart guy. And maybe I was in prison too long. One watch and one mobile phone. But sometimes it's the only place to stay sane and look out through those bars and say, is everybody out there nuts? The best thing about this film was to see Michael Douglas reprise his role because the smarminess and and the, the witty dialogue is still there. And so, and but Shia LaBeouf, Handles his own against against these top dogs like Josh Brolin, who plays uh, uh, the the CEO of a, another rival financial institution. Uh, but they go toe to toe, and he does just fine against yeah, them. Yeah, for the Shia LaBeouf haters, he holds his own with Michael Douglas, Josh Brolin, Eli Wallach, and uh, Frank Langella, and acquits himself quite nicely. The problem comes when Oliver Stone tries to make it too much of a drama. When it is a financial thriller with Gordon Gecko, it's fine. When it's a mystery thriller, uh, sort of a revenge thriller, it works just fine. But the stuff with Shia LaBeouf and Carrie Mulligan, who plays Gordon Gecko's daughter, I found actually fairly routine. It, and It falls flat. Right, and it's an attempt, I think, to try and redeem, in a way, the Gordon Gecko character, or at least misdirect us as to what his true motives are. Sure, sure. But it's one too many balls for him to be juggling in the air. He's not who you think he is, Jake? He'll hurt us. What gets me the most is Carrie Mulligan. Mulligan is a, a fantastic actress, and right. so to put her in a role that it could be really played by anybody, more annoyed me because you know you've got this actress, use her, and, yeah. and he doesn't. It's, All it's, of so just kind of just puts her there. And it's a thankless supporting role. Yeah, it's a very very supportive role. I yeah. mean, it, it's funny because other supporting characters, again, I mentioned Frank Langella, Eli Wallach, Josh Brolin, do get substantive things to do, but you have a star in the making in Carrie Mulligan, and that's the least you yeah. give her. And there, as much as I did enjoy the Shia LaBeouf character, there were times when the film threatened to turn into a strictly Shia LaBeouf movie and not enough Michael Douglas as Gordon I, Gecko. See, that, that's one of my big problems with the film, because I don't think there is enough Michael Douglas. Every no. time he, he the, sign, the scene ends, I want him to come back. I'm like, no, 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 don't, don't leave yet. I'm, I'm enjoying you. And then it goes to Shia LaBeouf and Carrie Mulligan and, and Josh Brolin, which is entertaining, but it's no Michael Douglas as Gordon Gecko. Why don't you start calling me Gordon? Right, and speaking of thankless supporting roles, Susan Sarandon <laughs> as Shia LaBeouf's mother, yeah. a one-note character who keeps coming back and interfering with the film and adds absolutely nothing yeah. to it. I think, I think another problem with the film is that Oliver Stone really does try to juggle way too much, and you can tell it in the the numerous flashbacks that he puts throughout the film. Right. Because he's like, oh, don't don't forget this happened, and so just just so you know, I just don't want you to forget because it, uh, uh, it's like looking at a, uh, at a TV show on HBO and it's like previously on Wall Street, <laughs> right. like that's you know they're trying to remind you so you don't forget like oh okay got it got it got it you know. And he has never he's and never will be accused of being a subtle filmmaker. Yeah. I mean. When someone's talking about the bubble getting ready to burst, there's a scene of bubbles being blown and a bubble floats into the air and then bursts. This, this is still the Oliver Stone we're talking about, but there's some good humor in there. Oh, it's, it's, yeah. it's a smart screenplay, and it actually might be a little too smart. I think you almost need subtitles or a narration to explain oh. to people some of the various economic, financial... They're not going to have an idea what's going on if, right. if you have no idea about this. Yeah, if, if you hear this sound, that's another financial concept going over your head. But that's why I loved about it, though, because it did take, you know, like I, I think Oliver Stone solved this meltdown in 2008, 
and was like, I'm gonna make another Wall Street, you know, and it's gonna make sense too, and because Gordon Gecko, who was the greedy guy back in the '80s and, and early '90s, if somebody's gonna capitalize on that, exactly, and now he's the kind of the hero. He's like, you know, I w- I was arrested for this small petty crime. Look what's going on in the world now. Yeah, there's much bigger, badder criminals <laughs> out there. He's I'm small fries. It's about doing the right thing. It's about the game. <laughs> easy to get in. It's hard to get out. Is that a threat? Absolutely. And it would be interesting for me to see come award season where Michael Douglas's performance is categorized, whether this is a best actor performance or a best supporting actor. You know, I would put him in the best actor performance if Oliver Stone had made him an actor in that film, but he I think it's more of a supporting acting role, but Definitely nomination worthy. Yes, and and if you were a fan of Wall Street, you'd definitely recommend it for that and for Michael Douglas's performance. I'd give it three stars. I give it two and a half. 